close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us How does it feel? What? How does it feel? It, it, it's actually not too bad. The nets are a little hard. Snapping, snapping, come on, oh, here we go. Uh, aerodynamic, premium, aftermarket, gloves. <laughs> a zip tie on this half inch motherfucker, put the 9 on it, crank her up to speed and just tap it on the tip of your dick. <laughs> just like that. Just fucking, woo! Just, just a little tap. Yeah. You, you paying me for this? How much? How much are you gonna give me? How about I'll take you out of all the debt from all the booze that you stole from me? That's fair. Honestly, I, I wish I had my 3.8 here. I would've did it with that. That would've hurt more. Well, I mean, we have the 3.8 bit on it. I'm not a, I'm not good in physics. Maybe it'll spin faster, maybe it won't. I don't fucking know. Dude, what the fuck? It's actually not that bad. Wait, check the battery on it. It's, it's three bars. That's not good enough. Ah, oh, fuck! That <laughs> <laughs> fucking hurt. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Dude, that hurt more than the finger because my ass is kind of old. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Anybody wants to buy a Jetta? Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Well, I mean, you have to That's say what you're going to do to it. I it's mean, a I, Jetta. I it's wouldn't... a fucking Jetta. Who cares? There's no transmission. Because I didn't put the new tra the new used transmission back in it. Yeah, that's in mint condition, believe it or not. I bought this car. Didn't have fifth gear. I know for all the Jetta fanatics out there that you can replace fifth gear without pulling a transmission. But I am certified in Allison transmissions on big rigs. I don't work on fucking car transmissions. But what I did have was a spare transmission right there on my floor. I was there. So... Why in the hell would I just replace fifth gear when I could just simply swap the fucking trans? But anyway, it's running, driving, it's a 2 0. Well, not yet. Cleaning up, gonna clean up the headlights. Actually, we could do that right now. This could be partially a how to video. How to clean your headlights. Do you know how? I guess I'm gonna find out. Alright, first step get yourself a drill. I get Milwaukee because I'm not a fucking pussy. Second step go to Walmart. Get yourself a Rust-Oleum headlight rest restoration kit. It's going to come with three levels of, like, three types of grit instructions, which you don't need because you're watching this Wait, video. Wait, here, let me see that. Oh, okay. Comes with a 2,000 grit. Okay. Comes with two 800s and two 1500s, obviously one for each headlight. And it also comes with a polish pad. So first, we're going to start with the 800. 
So, nice felt Velcro, boom, you just fucking stick that cunt hair on there. Alright, You're gonna take your drill. Hey, hey, this is my spot. I need to watch! You're gonna take your drill, you're gonna pop that bitch in there. Okay. Next, okay. you're going to get, oh yeah, we can turn this on. <laughs> Harbor Freight, $35, don't mind if I do. Alright, gonna wet her up. Wet this bitch up. Good old wet sand, huh? Look at all that shit! Yeah, uh... Yeah, uh, this thing does tend to spray a lot. Uh, she's a fucking squirter. It's, you have a bunch of, it's, it looks very... Shitty. Shitty, yeah, it looks very cloudy. Okay, so, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take this 800 grit. Yeah, let me see it. Just, you just fucking... Yeah, yeah, fuck that piece of shit. Next, you're gonna get a 1500. Slap that fucker on there. Just, uh, Thanks, man. You're welcome. I'm your water guy. Then you're gonna do the same thing. And you don't have to push hard with this. Literally just let the fucking drill do the work. Yeah. Then you take the 1500 off and you get your nice 2000. Okay, then after you're done with your 2000, don't throw away the 2000 because you only have one of these. Gonna get this fucker nice and wet. Look, just look, look at the difference. No, 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 no! Don't show the difference yet! Um, no, you gotta, stay, you gotta wait for that. Don't skip in the video, you gotta wait. All right, all right, after you do the 800, after you do the 1500, and after you do the 2000, you put on the polisher. Okay, before you start polishing, grab yourself, some fucking paper towels or toilet paper if you're broke. I don't know what the fuck you use. Oh, it's squeaking. I don't like it. Oh, fuck. I hate that fucking noise. Oh, fuck. All right, now you can see it's still a little cloudy. All right, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did, but it's still a little cloudy. That's where the polish comes in. Just like if you were to wax a car or buff a car, you're gonna... No, no, you just dab, man. Just dab. You're gonna spread that bitch on there a little bit first. All right, just spread it around. All right, then... Okay, and then after your polish is applied and deeply moisturized inside that bitch, all right? Gonna just take it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that fucking shine! Oh my God, look at the difference. Look at the difference. That versus that, all right? That is how you clean your headlights for literally $10. Good enough. She'll wash. <laughs>